College Board is the organization in the United States behind the SAT, All Advanced Placement or AP courses, and also the Common Application, Computer Science Principles, and Computer Science A are first semester college computer science classes offered to high schoolers by the College Board. They are in charge of tailoring the curriculum, administering end-of-year tests, and setting the teachers, students, and board's objectives. However, Computer Science Principles and Computer Science A clearly diverge in their stated goals. The former is a class in Computer Science Fundamentals, while the latter is a class in Programming. Yet, Computer Science Principles has another stated objective, introducing minorities into STEM. The College Board has either succeeded or failed, depending on its true motives. If the board's goal is the expansion of computer science knowledge as students enter fields, from computing to psychology or biology and even economics, they have clearly succeeded. Still though, the board's goal remains a matriculation of diverse students into IT jobs, something they have failed at. One thing that undoubtedly the College Board has succeeded in with the introduction of AP Computer Science principles is having minorities who would not take the traditional Computer Science A course to take an alternative class. This has been a success through teachers and guidance counselors' persistent advertising of the course. And this can be seen in the over 60,000 students taking the Computer Science Principles end of year exam with the test costing just under 100 US dollars. This makes the college board over six million dollars a year. The top reason for both males and females for not choosing a CS major were related to student perceptions, i.e. not wanting to sit in front of a computer all day, and limited understanding of CS. Students' lack of understanding of what computer science is can negatively affect students' interest in CS. Computer Science Principles was created in order to address this problem because computer science, believe it or not, is rarely a 9 to 5 job. The general perceptions of computer science is, I feel probably from, I don't know, like 20 years ago that it's your typical desk job. You sit down at your company at Oracle or Google or that newfangled Microsoft and you sit down at your desk and you type on a computer eight hours a day, go home. Now, a lot of newer companies that have very, very different routines where you'll have people say, say at a company like Discord, you have massive lounges, you have very comfortable working environments, you can basically come in whenever you want. And now, especially due to COVID, you can work wherever the hell you want if you are a programmer or you're in a programming job. Because the three things you really need to program is one, an internet connection, two, a GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket account, whatever your preferred method of control is, and a text editor, and all you're really, you're just good to go from anywhere in the world. Beyond that, um, a lot of people think that computer science is a completely anti-social job. And to that, I actually disagree. Um, computer science, and keep in mind I'm only a student, is very much a collaborative environment. I have been told by countless teachers, by countless people, 
and professionals that you cannot program alone. Unless you're maybe like an indie game developer, you're always going to be collaborating with other people when you are programming. Even personally, although I haven't worked too much on uh, group projects. I'm actually, I think, in my first group project right now, and I'm a high school senior. But I did intern over the summer at a university research lab, and working with people in computer science academia, they are pretty social people. When you're working in computer science, you always have to market your work, you have to um, collaborate, you have to work in a team, and specifically within that academia setting that I was in, and people were more so, I feel like, talking about how the hell they're going to actually get funding, how they're going to uh, market their research, what they're going to be talking about at conventions, sometimes more than the actual research they're doing. Another misconception is that computer science isn't very artistic. Um, it, it is. Uh, there's a lot of different aspects of computer science that involve art, from web design, a UI design, being a user interface, so what you see um, on Google Chrome or what you see in, I guess, Minecraft, you could even, your inventory is a UI, to game development is almost entirely art. To address these concerns and increase student interest in computer science, efforts have focused on exposing students to the relevance of computing, emphasizing the creative and problem-solving aspects of computer science. This was really the final thing Computer Science Principles was created to address. Computer Science can be fun. Um, computer Science A or AP Computer Science A is, is not fun. I took it and it really sucks. It is one language. It is the intricacies of Java. Java is a dying programming language that was really only popular 10 or 20 years ago. And co Computer Science A only gives you a few projects that you almost entirely have to do you can only use Java and you have to learn things in Java that even if you're using Java in the real world, you will never actually need to know. Or you could just Google in two seconds, but you need to memorize it for the AP test. Because AP Computer Science A is an extremely logic and programming centered course with honestly little room for creativity, Computer Science Principles was created to be almost the antithesis of this. Without any prior knowledge of programming going into AP Computer Science A, you don't really have the leave room, leave, leave room, leeway to, God, now I'm thinking of Genshin. You don't, you don't have the leeway to make a class project fun and interesting. And that is a common misconception with AP Computer Science principles, that it's a dumbed down course. I initially went into researching this thinking from the perspective that, oh, um, computer science principles is a dumbed down computer science A course. But in looking in a bit, it's not really dumbed down. It's just a little bit looser where you can choose your, or the teacher can choose the programming language. It is more problem solving based and it is more creativity centric. Uh, computer science principles does allow the teacher to choose the language. It's remarkable, you can actually use something that people in the real world use, like Python. And honestly, I like AP Computer Science principles more conceptually. Um, both Computer Science A and Computer Science P are flawed courses, which I will touch on in the next video and say how they can be improved. But I do think that I like AP Computer Science principles more conceptually. But let's look into why this course was actually created. Not to be a more loosely created uh, computer science course, but to attract more minorities. Oh, hi there. I am currently in my coding cave, also known as my gamer cave, also known as where I occasionally read. I don't actually really read that much. As we currently are coders today, I have Visual Studio Code open. Let's talk about minorities. Computer science principles main objective is to introduce minorities into STEM education, primarily computer science education and into IT jobs. This is actually a pretty little known fact, uh, which is why I wanted to make this video. When I first started researching 
um, to create a video, I wanted to do it on the SAT and the College Board's practices with the SAT. But I found that this was a much, 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 much more interesting subject, despite how little known the stated objective of computer science principles is, it's very, very effective. In the first three years of AP computer science principles, the number of female students, Latinx students, and black students double. And these are the College Board's public statistics. The College Board actually has awards to incentivize diversity. The College Board has awards for both Computer Science A and Computer Science Principles that are achieved by any school offering the course with a test-taking demographic that is 50% or more females. 75% of schools are getting this award through only computer science principles, 20% through only computer science A, and 5% achieve it in both courses. The computer science principles course is actually part of a broader initiative. This initiative is called CS4ALL, which is... CS4ALL is a central resource for individuals and organizations interested in K-12 computer science education. We connect providers, schools and districts, funders, and researchers working towards the goal of providing quality CS education to every child in the United States. CS4ALL actually launched the same year as computer science principles. And unfortunately, or although, uh, white males are still the most prevalent group in computer science principles. The most common response as to why computer science principal students all around chose the course is, I'd like to learn more about computer science. It is still an issue that white men are the most prevalent group in this course, but the course is trying to expose more students to computer science education, which is important because computer science is becoming prevalent in all fields and more people are becoming interested in computer science. But more on that in a second. Computer Science Principles has had a lot of successes and failures that I am going to touch on. Computer Science Principles students are more diverse. There are more women, there are more people of color in Computer Science Principles than there are in Computer Science A. But here's another difference. They have different future prospects compared to Computer Science A. AP Computer Science, AP Computer Science principal students are less interested in tech careers overall. They are 13% less interested in engineering or IT professions compared to Computer Science A students. Some of the research shows that Computer Science Principles is not necessarily a direct pipeline into IT jobs and fields. Something that's quite peculiar considering that is, in essence, their stated objective, which is something to keep in mind. Colleges don't view computer science principles the same way they do computer science A. And this is an opinion just from anecdotal evidence and what I've heard. Computer science P just isn't seen to be as rigorous, especially with some of the comments I've heard that it is a dumbed down computer science A course, a perspective I had going into uh, my research. Occasionally computer science principles is only really seen as just the prerequisite or the uh, pre-course to computer science A. And that is kind of a little bit of a failure in the computer science principles course. It is succeeding at getting more diverse students into computer science principles, but not getting more students into IT fields and jobs. Which keep in mind is their stated objective. However, another interesting thing is that people who take Computer Science A or both classes, because a lot of people do take both classes, are more likely to be interested in code. Computer Science A tends to attract people with more concrete engineering goals. They report coding more often, 
and also just have more specific objectives for wanting to take the course, such as become, wanting to become a better programmer, wanting to create video games. And honestly, that's why I started learning to program. I wanted to create video games. <laughs> I just wanted to be a game developer. Now I'm a YouTuber. So roughly one third of students who study computer science A and computer science P are interested in IT fields, which is quite a bit. If you ask people in calculus if they wanna become a mathematician, you're probably gonna get like 1% of responses at best. Computer science P just tends to attract more undecided students. The general mindset it feels like of computer science principles is one of, I don't know what I want to do, but I should know computer science compared to computer science A's mindset, which is I likely will need a strong understanding of computer science in the future. But computer science principles and where it succeeds in my opinion is that it tends to attract computer science involving careers such as maybe business careers or education, health professionals, nurses, social services. These are all careers in which computer science principal students are more likely to report wanting to go into. I've had a lot of friends who have dabbled in academia the same way I do, um, thanks to the education I've been afforded. And the one thing that I know is that every single friend I know who's been involved in academia has needed to know basic amounts of computer science. Everything from just needing to know Python or uh, R to needing to know like basic Unix to deal with like fish genes or something. I, I, but they all needed computer science. It was almost shocking how they needed more computer science than I did and I was doing academics in computer science. And computer science principles is just better for non-computer science or non-IT fields like biology or like becoming a psychologist. Which, as good as that is, keep in mind, once again, that is not the stated objective of AP Computer Science. Their stated objective is trying to get more minorities into IT jobs in STEM education. Because it teaches the fundamentals. Computer Science A only teaches Java and how to program, which is perfect really only for IT or IT heavy fields. Francis P. Trees, a Rutgers professor, says this about computer science principles. Although our non-major CS courses reflect the diversity of Rutgers, our ethnic and gender representations in the CS courses for majors do not. CS for all? Not really. We are very slowly narrowing the gender gaps in CS1, but not in the subsequent courses. Rutgers is a college that has a very, very industry-focused uh, computer science curriculum. It wants to get people into industry. So it, they would see how they would view computer science principles a little bit differently, because the, the differences between the two are obvious, but their goals and their outcomes are also very, very nuanced. What I still have yet to talk about and what I will be talking about in the next part of this video, yes, this is going to be a two-parter, is how does the college board exactly get com students to take computer science principles? And why are they actually getting students to take computer science principles? Because if the college board isn't like propagandizing, it's like, oh my God, we're getting minorities into, into STEM for you know good, good, good reasons. Why are they actually doing this? Um, and the answer to that is a little bit interesting, a little bit weird. It's a little bit to do with... Uh... If you like what I'm doing here, consider liking and subscribing and possibly even following me on my Patreon. Let's talk about minorities. F***ing hell, I couldn't have made that transition worse. Oh God, I should have scripted that.